Hi, I'm Kurt Suizo, ophthalmologist here at Tower Clock Eye Center. I uh, wanted to talk to you today a little bit about laser capsulotomy. Uh, laser capsulotomy is a very commonly performed procedure. Uh, it's sometimes used after cataract surgery in order to clear up a little bit of residual cloudiness or cloudiness that can develop after cataract surgery behind the lens implant. Um, just wanted to explain a little bit about what that involves. Uh, and I'll back up a little bit and talk a little bit about cataract surgery first. Now when we're doing cataract surgery, many of you know that what we're doing is we're removing the clouded lens, right here, the clouded lens from inside the eye, and then we're replacing it with a new lens implant. Now when we do the surgery, we actually don't remove the entire natural lens, right? Your lens in your eye, the part that gets clouded, is about the same shape and size as an M&M, right? And just like an M&M, it has a shell around it, okay? So what we're doing in cataract surgery is we're actually making a hole in the front of that shell, and then we're clearing out the insides, the chocolate part, because that's what gets clouded. The outer shell actually remains, all right? Now that's the skin around the lens. That skin is clear, and that it's a little bit like saran wrap. And that serves as the wrapper, the envelope that holds your new lens implant. Your new lens, which looks like this, it's obviously much smaller. The whole thing is about 12 millimeters tip to tip. The optic is about six millimeters wide, but that lens slips right into that skin and it's held in place by that shell, all right? Now, as you heal after the cataract surgery, that skin, that clear skin will shrink down around the lens like shrink wrap and will lock it into place, all right? Now, in about half the patients after cataract surgery, as that skin shrinks down around the lens, it'll actually draw nice and tight behind the lens implant like the head of a drum. And in that case, it usually stays nice and clear, all right, where it doesn't interfere with your vision at all. You can see through it easily and you're all set. But in about half, half of the patients who have cataract surgery, as that shell shrinks down around the lens, it'll actually start to get wrinkled, all right? And it'll get kind of pruned up and wrinkly. And in that case, it'll get kind of clouded. Sometimes there are some residual uh, lens cells or epithelial cells. These are actually skin cells that line the inside of that membrane. Those will start to grow across the membrane also. But the point is that about 50% of patients after cataract surgery, it might be within a couple of weeks, it might be 20 years later, that membrane can start to get clouded, right? And what happens is it kind of feels like your cataract's coming back, right? It's not, your cataract can't grow back. You can't develop a cataract again, but you can develop this cloudiness. So you're gonna notice that uh, because it's gonna cause symptoms like glare at night or just generally hazy vision. You might feel like you're looking through wax paper half the time. So when that develops, we'll identify it on an exam and we'll talk to you about laser capsulotomy, all right? So what happens with this is when we're doing laser capsulotomy, we're basically just removing or we're, we're eliminating that clouded membrane behind the lens, all right? We do that using a laser, we use focused light energy in order to aim through the lens implant and make tiny little perforations in that membrane in order to create a couple of incisions, I'll usually use a cross form incision where I'll make one incision going up and down, one incision going sideways, and then that membrane just pulls apart and it gives you a nice clear window in order to see through, all right? Now, the reason I'm able to shoot through the front of the eye and through the lens and have an impact on that membrane is because light energy, the laser, only has an effect where it's focused. A few little microns in front or behind that focal point, it has basically no effect. So I can do that laser treatment, I can go right through the lens, not damage the lens at all, but still make an incision in that membrane. So it's pretty slick. Uh, but I tell people it's analogous to opening curtains to see out of a window, all right? Once that laser treatment is done, your vision should be pretty clear. I mean, within an hour or two, we have to dilate your eye for the laser treatment. Uh, once that dilation wears off, you should see the effect you're going to get. It doesn't take a long time for this laser treatment to have an effect. And once it's done, it usually doesn't have to be repeated. In only very, very rare instances, if I had to go back and either make that opening larger or just repeat it because there's been some regrowth of that membrane. Uh, so typically it's just a one and done procedure. Um, there's also no recovery period. There are no eye drops afterwards. There are no restrictions. You get done with the laser, you just get up, get in your car, drive off, get on with your day. Don't lose any sleep over this uh, because it's, it's not going to be a long recovery. It's not a risky treatment. Okay, so if your doctor does recommend laser capsulotomy, number one, 
It doesn't mean that something was left over after the cataract surgery, or done improperly after the cataract surgery. This really just has to do with the healing process after cataract surgery, which is really impossible to predict. Uh, but just bear in mind, it's a very straightforward procedure. And uh, obviously, if you hope this was helpful, if you have any questions about laser capsulotomy or your eye care, give us a call at Tower Clock Eye Center.